Fortnite has finally gotten some fresh content, and just as usual, Epic Games has mixed things up quite a bit. We all know about the big changes by now, like the new locations and skins, but there are actually a lot of smaller significant changes that you might not have noticed just yet. From vaulted weapons to gameplay changes and buffs, there have been a ton of tweaks made to Chapter 2's second season. On that note, we'll be spending today's episode of The Countdown covering 5 changes you missed in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 2. Number 5. Fishing Spots Fixed In Season 1, you might have remembered fishing spots becoming useless after one or two bites. You'd get a rusty can or a fish or something, and then you'd no longer be able to fish in that area. Well, that's no longer the case, as Epic has buffed these fishing spots in Season 2 to give more items. We know this isn't a huge change, but if you played a lot of Season 1, you might have just gotten into the habit of fishing in a spot twice and moving on. Now, you can get even more loot from each spot, so don't move on too early. Number 4. Rapid Fire SMG a brand new gun has been introduced into Fortnite this season, and it's called the Rapid Fire SMG. The gun is a bit like the Burst SMG that we've seen in the past, but with a few big changes. The Rapid Fire SMG has an insanely high fire rate, making it easily one of the fastest shooting guns in the game. To keep it from becoming too overpowered, Epic reduced its accuracy a bit, but this gun is still a great weapon in Battle Royale. The Rapid Fire SMG is going to be super useful from close to medium range, and if you've got good aim, you're definitely going to want to pick this one up next time it drops. Trust us, it's powerful. Number 3. Toilet Slash Dumpster Portals You probably know about the various portable toilets that can be found throughout Fortnite and how they will teleport you to another spot on the map. What you probably don't know, though, is where to locate these portable toilets. There's one on the yacht that can be used to teleport you back to the main island, as well as several spread across Pleasant Park. Some of these Pleasant Park toilets will bring you down to an underground bunker, where you'll find more loot and henchmen. Number 2. Rip Traps Traps are officially a thing of the past, for now at least. With the Season 2 update, damage traps have been vaulted, meaning you can no longer use them in games of Battle Royale. If you were somebody who used traps all the time, this might not be the greatest news. If you're like us here at the Countdown though, you were probably getting tired of getting killed by a player with no skills thanks to a damage trap. Now, players are forced to, you know, actually be better at the game to defeat their opponents. No more copping out with traps. Number 1. Suppressors are back the suppressed versions of the assault rifle, the submachine gun, the sniper rifle, and the pistol have been vaulted in the past, but Epic has brought all four weapons back for Season 2. This is most likely to play along with the spy theme of Season 2, although stealth isn't normally a huge part of Fortnite's gameplay, these weapons can be used to take out the henchmen NPCs at each of the new locations, making it easier to unlock each location's vault. The suppressed sniper also helps out for taking down other players at a distance without revealing your location. We're guessing the suppressors will be taken out again before next season, but it's nice to have them back. Well, that covers 5 changes you missed in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 2. What's your favorite part about the new season? Let us know in the comments down below. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to Arcade Cloud News right here on YouTube. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and ring the bell so you know when we upload for more of the best lists and news in gaming. Till next time!